you know, I didn't realize that my parents were giving me these three principles, but, you know, when I was growing up, they were just constantly loving on me and constantly encouraging me. And, you know, my mom would tell me these things every single day. And my dad would tell me I was the greatest every day, Tristan, like on the phone every single day. My mom would tell me every day. I remember there was a time where um, we were opening a salon at the Hard Rock Casino in Las Vegas. And my mom's mm-hmm. sitting in the chair and I'm doing her hair and John Paul is flying in. And this is the only the second time in the history of Paul Mitchell that John Paul, the guy who owns Paul Mitchell and Patron, who he sold it for five point four billion dollars. Um, but when uh, he's he's actually showing up to our opening and he had only showed up to one other salon opening in, in his whole history. And. So I'm doing my mom's hair, and you can imagine I'm freaking out. I'm a little kid from Lompoc, California, <laughs> right? Wait, where are you from? Lompoc, California. Oh, dude, I know Lompoc. That's so funny. So I'm a little That's kid so cool. from Lompoc, California, and I'm freaking out. John Paul is about to come to our salon opening, and I'm, I have my mom. I'm blow-drying her hair in the chair, and I'm like, Mom, John Paul is coming tonight. And she's like, <laughs> uh, and she's not really impressed. And I was like, do you realize John Paul owns Paul Mitchell? He owns Patron. He does all this stuff. And my mom so calmly. She, I was blow drying her hair, looking at her in the mirror. We were talking through the mirror. She turned. She looked me in my eyes. She slowed down. She got silent. And then she said, does he know who you are, son? That was my, oh. that was my mom's view of her son. I'm getting goosebumps right now because she had no respecter of persons when it came to her sons. And she wanted us to know that he should be excited that he's coming to your salon opening. And that was the kind of confidence that my mom gave to me and what I want to encourage every single person out there. If you don't have that mom, if you don't have that dad, then listen to Tristan. Listen to podcasts. Listen to this over and over again because this is what my mom told me. You are perfectly, wonderfully made in the image of God. Anything contrary to that is a lie. From this day forward, only accept truth, son. And I tell you, when you have that, I mean, I, don't, I mean, I'll do an audio book, and if it works, yes. If you catch on, yes. I'll write a book. Maybe it will be good. Maybe it won't. I'll start a business. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. But when you have that confidence coming in from your mom, from your dad, and the, from that authentic part, and, and you have that encouragement, I believe that magic can happen all over your life.